Hi, I'm Alexa, and welcome back to The Leftovers. Teachers and staff here at NHS are always deserving of our appreciation for all the hard work that they do. The Leftovers has decided to sit down with a few teachers and staff members here at NHS to discuss more about their background and try and attempt to make some of their favorite foods. Our first guest here at The Leftovers is engineering and woodshop teacher, Mr. Melman. We're making uh, ve vegan bami mi sandwiches. So a ba mi sandwich is a Vietnamese style sandwich. Um, you can make them out of like pork and chicken and stuff, but we're gonna make one out of satia. So it's gonna be a vegan. Uh, I'm mostly vegan and vegetarian. My kids guilt me into not killing animals anymore. So the first thing that we gotta do is gotta get a bunch of dry ingredients together. Um, the most important one is something called uh, the, this one, vital wheat gluten. And you also add a little bit of chickpea flour and some spices. We got garlic powder, onion powder, something called nutritional yeast. We added all these together and then we need to add a little bit of uh, vegetable broth. And then you just stir it up and then when you do, you're going to really notice that it thickens and almost turns into like a, that slime stuff that you played with. So you got to do this for three minutes. So we'll probably time warp, right? So now this has sat for 10 minutes. So the texture, the consistency is different. And you want to cut it into small pieces. So this little loaf you can make four out of or so. Okay? You roll them up. And I just happen to have a few that were already cooked. So this is the cooked ones. And I'll admit they're not the most appetizing things out of the package right away. So take these and you can slice them just like they were a piece of meat. So we need to get some flavor on these things. Any good uh, international food store will have a lot of different uh, Asian barbecue sauces. This Korean barbecue sauce by, I think that it's bulgogi marinade. It's really, really good. It's, for, it's perfect for this job. So put that on. Since we don't have to, and we're gonna just cook these in a wok, let's go do that in the other room right now. All right, Alexa, we're Perfect. back. We're back this from cooking it. Me that we cooked yes. ourselves. So, now the fun part. You can finally assemble your sandwich. So, you can just put layer up. You don't need much. A little bit goes a long way. So, just one little, a nice little layer of, of the fake meat. We have the quick pickles that we made earlier that are also already done. It's amazing how all this stuff is already done. So take a little of the daikon radish, maybe a cucumber here and there. And again, these things are very flavorful, so a little bit goes a long way on here too. And then the most important ingredient in my mind is cilantro. You gotta put the cilantro on. And then they say mung bean sprouts, but any bean sprout goes well. These are sweet pea um, sprouts. Finally, a little of the vegan mayo. We need to, uh, we, we need something to spread it with. Oh, I guess I can use my jackknife. It's clean, I cleaned it this morning. I believe you. And don't worry, it's not that sharp. So, here we are. The vegan bao mi, made out of homemade seitan. We got some homemade pickled, uh, quick pickled veggies, and a baguette that I bought. But right. Close enough. All right, cheers. cheers. So, I know that you used to work at a, another school in like the Western Mass area. What made you land and stay here at NHS? Well, um, I like this part of the valley, I like the northern part. I grew up uh, north of here even, um, in Greenfield. But I enjoy this area a little bit more. I, I worked at Minichog, so I wanted to get back up here. And, little known fact, Mr. Lombardi was my vice principal there. So when he moved up to Northampton, I told him immediately, like, listen, when your job comes up, I'll, you know, let me know. I'm not, I'm not maximizing the earning potential of my degree, but um, I like teaching. I, I couldn't, I couldn't stand the cubicle. The cubicle was the, was the hard part. It's just mm -hmm. being in those little four walls. Your life never changed. You just every day, you're pretty much doing the same thing in the same spot. Here. There's a marking of time. I have the fall, New Year starts. You have the summer, you get the summer vacation. And then even the, the semester change, it breaks up the year. Thank okay, you. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Conley, for being my very first guest here. No problem, it was absolutely my pleasure. 
Make sure to tune in next week with our next guest. This was The Leftovers, and thanks for watching.